Hello everybody, this is Gamer0Z1 and today I'm going to be showing you uh, NVIDIA Games, the application for streaming and uh, pretty much if you want to play games from your computer or from their database, but it does not work with their database yet. Like you can't stream anything from them. Alright, I'm going to pause this and wait until this uh, loads and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Okay. Well, I'll show you what I mean about their stuff not loading. I'll just try some random Fortnite. You click play. It's not going to work. It'll just give you a little, uh, well, I consider it as an error, technically. There you go. Unable to process the request. Try again later. Oh well, I accidentally hit it again. Um, all right, I'm gonna load up uh, Steam here. This is loading from my computer. Once it wants to not show my desktop, it looks like it's pretty into showing my desktop right now. Oh. Okay. I thought I was already logged in, but okay, I was not. Um, alright. See here. I have more games than this. <laughs> there we go. Oh, you got Devil May Cry right here. But it's going to make me install it. And this is what sucks is if you run it through their stuff, which I can't get to work, you don't have to install a game you own. It'll just let you run it. All right, we're just going to do some Cuphead. I'm pretty sure. I thought I had Cuphead already installed. I remember. That's gay. One second here. Sorry. <clears throat> just trying to figure out a game that's not going to cause me any problems. Screw it. <clears throat> I've had like a little bit of problems. Uh, I can't s seem to figure out how to get rid of. Uh, it's called simple. Like it's like their simple mode. It's where they uh, change how your uh, control works, and I consider it absolutely terrible. Like it's for people who just literally just can't play the game, <laughs> who can't fight, and I find it just it like totally destroys what I know of this game so it has just been so annoying I'm gonna pause this and wait until this loads and uh, I'll get back to you okay it is now loading up it took a second it, it just Dragon Ball Fighter Z for some reason just likes to take a second I'm just gonna show you how well the how it all works pretty much like there's barely any delay like, if there is, it's usually just having to do with your internet. But most of the time, it's pretty fast and pretty dead on. And so, this is pretty good. I like how I'm back in here again. Right, let's get to the game here. And I can tell you right now, there is something wrong. I am pretty sure. Eh, maybe not. I might be overseeing things here. I'm not going to go to that one. I should have just went to training. That's what I'm going to do, actually. Well, wrong way. That's what happens if you don't play the game too often anymore. Okay. Uh, Goku. Uh, Goku. And Goku.
And the funny part is, like, I played the uh, Nintendo Switch version of uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, and it lags, like, all through that part. I don't really get why, the, why it lags like that, but... Yeah. You see what I'm talking about? It angers me that people just can't figure out how to actually play the game, and they need easy, simple controls. I hate this. It annoys me. But, as you can see, there's literally, well, there's lagging. Well, never mind. It looks all good now. I thought there was a little bit of lag coming up, but it seems to be all good. And for you to see my computer. Yeah. And uh, of course the notification comes through. The last time I, I was actually trying to make this video before and a notification came up from YouTube and it totally messed up the entire video. Like it, like I accidentally clicked it when I was trying to swipe it off the Nintendo and uh, it literally just went to the link. I was like, crap. But as you can see, the game's working just fine. And, uh, yeah. Literally, it's dead on. Like, yeah. There you go. There's my showing of Nintendo running uh, N NVIDIA games app streaming. If I said that well enough. Um, Alright, well. I don't know if, I, if there's more I want to show you or not. But all you have to do is just go to quick game. You'll go straight back to the menu, and voila. And then you can just choose from other titles they own. But the best part is, and somehow I got lucky and did not have a problem with this when I uh, tried it, my Nintendo Switch controller is the one who's that I'm able to play, well, the Pro Controller, I'm able to play all the games. And the joysticks work. And supposedly other people were having problems with joysticks and even getting some of the buttons to work correctly. But um, it's working fine for me. So, yeah. All right. Well, um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And uh, if you want me to test something out, just ask. I uh, may try it out. May not. I don't, I don't know. But it depends on what you want me to try. But, uh, next video might be a PS1 game running on this thing. But, um, yeah. Everything, uh, works and you can stream your games. Um, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Have a nice day.